When a honey badger is still quite young, his parents abandon him, and he has to find his own food. He's not an expert hunter yet, and he'll have to live on a diet of worms and grubs in this land of milk and honey, unless some fairy godmother comes to his aid. Incredibly, nature provides just such a godmother in the shape of a little bird. For a while, she only looks on as he scratches and digs for the few scraps of food he can find. When the time is ripe, she introduces herself. At first he resents this noisy, fluttering nuisance, but eventually some deep instinct makes him realize dimly that he has to follow her. So she finally leads him to the objective, a big fat beehive. Now all his instincts come to the surface. He knows his favorite food is in there and nothing is going to stop him now. His hide is quite impervious to bee stings. The only vulnerable spot is the tip of his nose. Last, the payoff. This amazing partnership of the honey guide bird and the badger is one of nature's most intriguing examples of teamwork between different species. He doesn't eat all the loot because she's entitled to her share. Of course, the inhabitants of the Kavango Basin don't realize how lucky they are to be living in such luxury. To them, this land of plenty is the whole universe. They are quite unaware that their bounteous habitat is only a small green world floating in the vast emptiness of the pre-Namib. The pre